what's stopping you from taking advantage of the full IFC native capabilities of the Blender Beam Adder? If you are working with IFC models, then you are missing out big time. Is it the complex Blender and Blender Beam interface? Is it the fact that it's not so easy to install it and keep it updated? Or maybe it's that nasty error that you got once you tried it and you did not know what to do. If this sounds like you, then this is the right workshop for you. Because in this workshop, I'm going to help you to master just that, to get comfortable at installing, keeping updated Blender Beam Addon, to understand user interface, to teach you how to properly navigate through your IFC models with confidence, and then also how to automatically validate your IFC models using IDS. On top of that, you'll also learn the basic concepts of the IFC schema. And I'll focus on the practical things that you actually need to understand when you are producing IFC models and when you are validating. It does not matter if you're an architect, engineer, beam coordinator, beam manager, beam model, whatever, it doesn't matter. If you work with IFC, then this is the right thing for you and it will save you a lot of time instead of going and researching for yourself. Look, I'm sorry for this. Unfortunately, the resources for the Blender Beam Addon are not so great because there is a big challenge with this, right? This amazing tool is getting updated quite often, several times a week. So because of that, all the documentation produced out there is going to be outdated sooner rather than later. And that's exactly where I step in with this program because I am going to use the latest daily build and I'll show you also how to do the same and how to keep it updated. Don't get me wrong, there are some great resources out there, especially if you look for IFC Architect, Sigma Dimensions and so on. But what I'm focusing on right here, it's something else. I'm focusing on the validation, understanding the IFC schema and automated checks. And at the same time, my focus is going to be on this, although basic concepts, very critical in your success journey with this amazing tool because unfortunately there are many people who are giving up so this time you'll have no reason to give up anymore in just three hours we are going to cover all these important aspects so after that you can just straight up use with confidence the blender beam Adam and run your first ideas and then build on top of that this might be also interested for people who never use IFC because for a modic price you'll be able to see the capabilities of this amazing tool and you might think how you could integrate these workloads in your existing ones. If this sounds like something you would be interested in, then all you have to do is to go to the link below, read all the details in there if you're not convinced about the value in this workshop yet, or just go to the registration page from there. Let me add one more thing here. On top of becoming confident at using the Blender Beam Addon, a significant part of the sales will go as a donation to this project to keep supporting its development and make it even better. And if you did not know already, Beamvoice, together like me, together with other instructors like Lloyd Vassia, Mano Mekes, Dion Mold, and everyone else around, we have donated close to $5,000 so far. And that's under one year. Wow! So yes, like this is a double win for you. You will learn something and you will also make a huge impact to this amazing tool that will have a significant impact for the whole built environment. I thank you very much for that. I'm looking forward to meeting you soon.